Hello, it's Andy Graham of HoboTraveler.com. I'm in Kiev, uh, Ukraine. Uh, I've traveled nonstop for 104 countries and one rogue country, Transnistria, the other day. And I've traveled nonstop for 16 plus years. I've traveled nonstop 16 plus years, but went to 104 countries. Uh, I answer global lifestyle questions. Uh, SZ Love asks, Hi, Andy. What did you do in jail for 20 days? Uh, I'm a recovering alcoholic. I haven't drank for 27 years. Lost my license for uh, 10 years in the USA and was on house arrest for a year. But one time they spent 20 days in jail. Um, and, you know, I paid my price. So I really don't care. Um, the, the answer what I did in jail, it was really kind of an enlightening experience. Inside jail, I was in Bloomington, Indiana, and they had... Uh, collect phones there. You could actually make collect calls all the time you wanted to. They had a color TV and they watched movies all the time and television, although you had to share the television. I wonder if this music's too loud over here. Um, and I, I basically was unfortunate and they made me a trustee and I had to actually work all day, which is considered a uh, in in jail or in small jails, I think they this is county jail, right? They they actually you know you know you gotta wear this little red outfit or orange outfit or whatever. But they made me a trustee, and the trustee gets to work all day, and they get to serve all the food and all this stuff. And this is considered a, a prestige job. I think in the punishment in in jail is solitary confinement. The reward you get in jail is if you become a trustee and you get to work all the time. I was really wanting to lay there on the bunk and read books because they had a, a thousands of books to read and I could have read books. Most of the guys in jail were playing euchre and card games and stuff and uh, watching TV all day long every day and they were really quite happy because they, they were kind of some, you know, kind of pretty much losers in jail, right? And uh, they could talk with their partners and sit around and brag all day about stupid stuff. And uh, so they, they were really happy. They, what they called it? Three squares. What was educational about it was human nature, right? So um, I was kind of sad to realize that you really wasn't punishing people as much as they sh I would have thought. It. They punished me because I was having to be with the social class that I'm not used to. But most of the people in the jail were of the same social class. So, and... But I did learn one thing, uh, so I, I worked the whole time washing floors, cleaning things, serving food, having jailers treat you like you're a slave, a uh, very demeaning way of talking to you. Uh, but for me it was punishment because uh, you basically realize that you did the crime and you do the time, I guess. Um, and listen to macho type jokes that are you know, they're, they're part of the loser's world where you like say something macho to cover up the fact that your world's horrible. Um, so it was a, it's a learning experience and I'm, I'm glad I went there and I'm glad I understand the judicial system in America and that it really at the end is any, it's an abuse of the person to the level where they really don't want to go back again, or at least a, a good person doesn't. But the people on the bottom are always in the bottom, and they have trouble digging out because they they give up their pride. And uh, when you give up your pride, you, you give up everything. I, you know, I've been sober now for 27 years. I had four drunk drivings, and paid my prices, right? I, I did the, I did it. I was responsible. I, I'm a better man for it. I mean, I also was on house arrest for a year, which uh, taught me how to be alone and to uh, enjoy being with the person I'm with, me. <laughs> okay, so actually trained me for travel in a lot of ways because I'm alone a lot. But I'm happy today, and it's 
it's a personal question. I'm sure my mother doesn't like the fact that I'm talking about this because you're supposed to keep your dirty laundry in the thing. But I believe that a, a healthy person is an honest person uh, that uh, tells you if you ask the question, you answer the question. And uh, so sometimes that's what keeps me sober is my rigorous honesty and my desire to be proud of the man I am today. So, Andy Graham, HoboTraveler.com, answering a very personal question, I guess. But jail's not as tough as they think. It's really, uh, the bad part is you're hanging around with a bunch of people proving to you at the time that you're a loser. And I was a loser at the time, and I was a drunk. Uh, there should be no reward for me staying sober. My mother and father did this the whole life. Uh, um, I'm a drunk in remission, okay? So, but I've been fortunate to have incredible educational experience that taught me human nature, and I thank God for that. Andy Graham, HoboTraveler.com in uh, Kiev, Ukraine.